Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. In this channel, I make videos on Power Platform tools, mainly on Power Apps and Power Automate. So if you guys haven't checked out my videos, then do check them out. I have made videos on dynamic loading bar. If you haven't checked this one out, do check this out. Made videos on gallery pagination, how we can export gallery data to Excel and the simple how we can sort the data of gallery you can check these four videos out so today what we are going to see is we are going to like this i made some demo home screen so if you want this video you can comment below and i'll show you how i made this so it's just a simple ui where here the version of the app is going to we are going to see today's date simple about us a button and this information button if you click on this you can see this dynamic text display there and if i click on close it is just hide it is going to be hidden so here so to in this video it is going to be a very short video we are going to learn this how i made this one the slider so we are going to learn the sliding text so let's start our video so let me first create this screen we i have this screen too so let me rename it as my example screen okay so in this screen we are going to learn that so simply first take some icon i'm just writing home just select any icon okay you can change the icon from here also uh just search for information i think yeah so let's say i have this button on click of this button some some slider sliding text should display and it should be animated okay so what i'll do is i'll just take a rectangle instead of a rectangle i'll take a text label okay i'll just place it here i'll give it some border color let's say let's give it red color i'll give the text color as white okay I'm making a very rough diagram and make it so that's 600. Let's say 600 is going to be the width of this. Okay. Okay, and in place of this D, this text value, I'm putting nothing, so it will be blank. Just create another this thing another label just copy this and paste this see there are two okay to style this what you need and write your text here whatever text like uh, my dynamic text okay so you've written this here i'm increasing the font size okay and uh, this thing left should be padding 20 so that it will be a little bit gap from the left hand side so here this is my label 5 underscore 1 this is my label 5 okay so label slide okay I'll name it as label slide and name this as label main okay the one that contain text so what I'll do is just copy the name of this go to label main do this thing dot x and for its y property label dot x dot y all right note its width should be 600 only and height you can you can give it like this okay all right so this is my label main and below this we have labels like so for now let me just make it hidden so i hide i did this label main and now we are only seeing this label slide okay 
So for sliding, what we are going to use it for sliding or animation, we will use timer function. So this is my timer. Okay. So when I click on this <coughs> information button, this slider should should be like this should open like this. Okay, so this is going to be our task. So for this, what we are going to do? Firstly, we have to define some variables. So while I'll say start timer. Okay, something start timer true. Whatever you do it here, like if you do update context, right? So do one thing, just go to this screen, just select this screen, go to its on visible property. And paste it here, start timer, just make it as false. Okay. So whenever you will come from like, uh, from from any screen to this screen example when this screen is visible this start timer is going to be false correct now we go to timer so this is nothing but millisecond 60,000 millisecond it is like 60 second so I'll make it as 5 second so uh, not 5 but 3 second is way more enough I'll make it as 3 second we have an a start property of this. What we are going to do is start. I'll say when a start timer is true, then it started. See, currently it is false. So when it is going to be true, this timer is going to start. All right. And on timer end, we have one property on timer end. Again, what I'll do is I'll make this start timer as false. So when we click on this start timer become true, this time gets started. And uh, when when it hit its end, it's a timer, it's going to be false. So I'm just going to show you if I click on this, see the timer started until three, it is going to stop. Okay. Now, talking about this how we are going to make this dynamic just play with the width property of this thing okay so what I'll say is I'll make its excess firstly I'll make its excess uh, parent dot width minus self dot width okay so see now it is like it's starting from here correct it is starting from here you can see all right so this is my slide one now i'll make its width dynamic so what i'll say is timer one dot value so timer one dot value is nothing but when when i play the timer so one second is thousand Okay, then two second is two thousand, three second is three thousand. So three thousand divided by timer one dot duration timer one dot duration. Okay, and divided by this thing label main dot label main dot width so if this is like confusing for you now it is going to make sense in the last video i also explained this uh, this concept so basically what we are doing is so what is the width of this main it is 600 right so if if the timer is 3000 let's say if the value timer dot let me show you the timer dot value as well so that it will be a little more clear timer one dot value see currently it is zero when we play this 
okay all right just wait just wait it is timer 3 not 1 it is timer 3 and here it should be timer 3 then not 1 so I'm going to make it as timer 3 okay now let's play this app if I click on this see the value of this is increasing this is timer dot value so 3000 divided by 3000 divided by length of this thing <coughs> uh, this label dot label underscore main so this is going to be our formula if I show you in the calculator I can show you let's say my my this value timer dot value is 2000 divided by what is my this thing duration of timer it is 3000 okay okay whatever it's going to be the output I'm going to divide it by 600 not divide but uh, multiply it by 600 again we have to do 2000 see something like this 3000 answer multiply 600 so it is going to be 400 when the when two second hit the width of this is 400 this label slide and with the increase of this it is this is also increasing okay so again I'll show you let me first go to the screen come to this screen and let me just click it see this now this is dynamic now we just need to show the label okay so when the timer is finishing right when the timer is finishing I'll say update context visible label I'll something I'll say something like this visible label and I'll make it as true okay I'll just copy this visible label and uh, go to this one go to visible property of this one paste it here and whatever you do it here right I already told you when you do update context like this just copy this go to the on visible property of your screen and just paste it here as well ignore this one ignore this below one okay so these two were dead and here visible should be false when we come to this page okay visible should be false so let's say we were on a screen when then we have moved to a screen example so if I check the value of these two the screen timer see here it is false visible label again it is also going to be the false okay so let's see now what happens and I'll just the visible property of this should be like when like label main is visible just make it disable so what I'll do is visible label I'll make something like this not if this one is not visible then make this visible once this is visible just hide this so you will understand what is happening see this once this completed see what happens it look and feel wise it just look like that it is the same same label but like they are two different labels okay reason why I didn't like put text in this one only in the slide one only it looks ugly like I can show you if I give some text here let's say some dummy text if I give and if I if I play this if I play this 
see what is see this is what happens so that is why it's better to like keep this empty and have text in different different label and just make it visible once it get completed okay all right so what i'll do is i'll just copy this paste this i'll make a cancel button i'll just cover this one i'll make the visible property of this uh, as uh, again like when uh, this is start time oh sorry visible something if visible label is true then then show me that otherwise don't show me that I'll just copy this Okay, uh, visible property of this, and just do something like this, and the code of this uh, cross button. So this is this is the cross one, right? See, it is not visible, so you are not seeing it. But this is the cross one. So the cross code is going to be on select. Just. Uh, reset the timer reset timer uh, 3 in our case it is timer 3 in your case it might be timer 1 2 or anything just look here see it is timer 3 and what I'll do is I'll do update context I'll make this visible property right visible label property as false just as simple as that okay so on select of this icon we are just hiding these things so let's play our app let's see what happens now so as soon as it get completed see this cross button once I click on this cross button everything is now hiding so your task is going to animate this thing like when you click on like cancel it should like animate from here to here so this is going to be your task I just showed you like how you can show you how you can like animate this thing but your task is going to be once you click on this cancel button it should animate from uh, left to right all right anyways in the next video I'm going to show you how we can animate it but for now it is going to be your task so as you can see like we animated and once everything is completed just delete uh, unnecessary things just hide this all right and air C great so if you want to increase the time of this thing go to your timer go to your duration go to your duration property if you want to make it like one second just open this thing and click on this see in one second now it is going to play so this thing is very much dynamic okay on timer you can increase the duration or you can decrease the duration it is up to you 1.5 second i think it it is ideal so yeah here it is so this is it about this video I hope you like the video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe till the time take care bye bye